Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be trying a new operating system, um, and I've never used it before. Uh, it's called MicroS. Um, you guys probably have never heard of it. I'm gonna go pull up the website real quick. So MicroS says it's an operating system for uh, Times 86, which is 32-bit PCs written in assembly language. Now, assembly language is the second generation of coding. Uh, the first generation, the lowest thing is, uh, like, ones and zeros. Like, that's, like, the lowest, but this is, like, a step above. And then, like, a uh, third generation is, like, Visual Basic, and maybe you can do some coding in Excel as well. Maybe that's third generation. And, uh, basically, it's, uh, you could get all the way up to plain English with this, which is possible, which is, like, tenth gen or something, but... Uh, I'm not going to get into this today. I downloaded it from this website, and I put it into a virtual machine. So let's try it today. So it is version 4.6.1, and let's start it up here. So I have watched a couple videos on this, and it's really cool. So it says, thanks for trying MicOS. Please select an interface. Okay for the program menu. Cancel for the command line. We're going to be trying both today. Uh, we're going to try the program menu so you can cycle between them by your arrow keys on your keyboard. We're going to be trying the program menu today, so press enter. And as you can see, we have all these programs here. If I can just scroll down, you can see all these here. Um, so first, what we're going to be trying, I'm just going to scroll back up. Uh, kernel is basically the base of the operating system. You shouldn't touch it if you press enter to load it. Cannot load and execute MicOS kernel. Kernel.bin is the core of MicOS and is not a normal program. So... It won't let you edit dot bin uh it, this one is really cool if you press enter you can edit different things uh yeah you can only load text or base bass files so if we load like something like the calculator all of this code was written to make the calculator every single bit of this code was used to make the calculator and i'm gonna show you the calculator in a sec so you get the idea so basic program finish press the enter key so here's the calculator so uh now let's try a simple calculation Let's try multiplication. Let's do 54.3 times, I don't know, 120 billion quadrillion. Enter. The answer is 27,240. Um, calculator's pretty good. It works. Press any key to continue. And let's go back and exit. And basic program finish. Press a key to continue. And I want to show you guys a really cool thing that you can do in MicOS keyboard you can play musical tones on here by hitting the keys now i'm hitting the keys that it's telling me to hit for the piano but for some reason audio is not installed and even though my volume is turned on it's just not working i don't know why it's happening so uh i guess we can't get audio to work at all in this operating system i tried and tried but i just can't get audio so let's go to cf which is cosmic flight it's a really cool fast-paced adventure game let's actually read about it here cosmic flight is a fast-paced adventure game in which you must guide your small ship through a dangerous galaxy collecting as much energy as possible use a and d on your keyboard to move in space to fire your laser weapon collect green items and avoid red ones as you get more powerful the game will become much harder press any key to start you can see we have some good energy points over here and these are the bad energy points so you want to collect the green items to get energy points and the more energy points you get, the more you can uh, shoot lasers. And these reduce your points by however many they stay here. Like the hash here, like that will lose 15 points. The upside down question mark will lose you 100 points. And the asterisk will use, lose you 500. And so on and so forth. And the two, two exclamation points will lose you 2,000. You don't want to get that. So it starts out easy and it gets faster and faster. That's why it's called a fast paced game. So let's press enter. And you see my character down there. Uh, you try to collect the green ones, and you can see my energy point up here is growing larger up here. And you have to try to move around. So, I'm going to be playing this for a little while. Um, really fun game, and as you can see, there's a red one. I'm not going to try to get a red one. So, as you can see, I've surpassed 100. I can shoot a, a mini or a mini laser, I believe. Press enter, and it shoots the laser, and it reduces your points when you shoot the laser, which is a downside side of shooting the laser, but... Uh, I think it's really fun. So once we get to, I believe, 500, we can shoot a standard laser. So I'm going to be back to you when I get to 500. All right, so we're at uh, 500. Actually, it's not a standard laser. The standard laser was at 100. We can shoot a power laser. So let's shoot it by pressing space. And now we don't have it, the power laser. Uh, we just have the regular laser. So 
Uh, I'm going to shoot uh, the standard laser now because it's saying we could do that, and that's a standard laser. Um, I'm going to be back to you when I get to 1,000, and I can shoot a... Like I, 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 I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to get to 1,000 and shoot the next laser, the most powerful laser. So I'll be back. Okay, so the game is getting way harder now. As you can see, I'm having to avoid all these red things here. There's very few green things. I'm at about 800, I believe. Um, and, uh, look, it's getting faster. There's less green things. There's more red things now, and I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, this is so cringe. This is, like, really sketchy. This is hard. This is hard, okay? You guys try to play it, uh, but, uh, yeah, so. This is so hard, oh my gosh! Why is this so hard? Oh my gosh, so there's a green one there. <clears throat> ah! All right, let's keep going. All right, I'll, I'll be back to you when I really hit a thousand. Okay. okay, so the most powerful laser it says up up up, the, up at the top there, fire laser. So uh, what you can do to shoot the fire laser is press space bar and look at that. And now we're back down to 940. So uh, as you can see, the game is getting harder and harder. Uh, I can keep shooting lasers as you can see, but um, it's getting hard, you know. So I'm gonna keep playing until I die. Actually, this is really fun. Uh, it might be a while until I die, because I'm actually pretty professional at this game so far. So, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you can't actually die. I mean, when you eat the red thing, like, I'm gonna try to eat the red thing now. You just lose points, so I'm, I'm gonna finish this. So, it's like, game over, press the key. I want to show you something that's really technical. Mem edit. Now, it may sound harmless, but it stands for memory edit. Now, as you can see, if we press enter... Uh, you can edit the memory in your computer, uh, or like the RAM, or whatever you want to call it, but, see, we can edit the memory, we can change it to whatever value we want, and I'm not going to do that, because it says it's dangerous, uh, but it's not really dangerous, since it's on a virtual machine, I can do whatever I want, kind of, and if it does break the computer, then I can always reinstall it, but look at this memory, this is all the memory that's being used, so, press escape, and enter to, uh, clear that. Uh, I'm wondering what Fisher is. Deep Sea Fisher. It's another game. You know, this this operating system has a lot of games, you know. Okay. It looks like I'm fish fishing for all these fish here. Okay. It's pretty funny. Alright. So, I believe Hangman is another game. Yep, you can... What is this? You can try to guess the city name that fits the spaces beneath. So, I'm just pressing random keys on the keyboard. Warsaw, okay, I don't even know what that is, anyway, so now I'm going to press escape, and I'm going to click on cancel for the command line, and what I mean by this really well documented is if we check out their website again, bit of code, what it does, bit of code, what it does, it's amazing documentation on Mike OS, so uh, we're going to get back to the operating system now, uh, so commands like dir, I'll show all the folders listed in the path, uh, ls, uh, it'll show you all the games and all the apps that you have. Uh, CLS will clear the screen. We can do cs.bat, we can load things. I mean cf.bat, we can load things. I mean cf.bas, we can load like Cosmic Flight from the command prompt, which is... I'm trying to press escape now. So, that is MicOS. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to install it. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.